Right now it's mostly Shabbos. We've been on the road trip for about six days now. So, so the first day of the trip, we were all wild in the morning, super excited. This is how we get ready for the road trip. It's okay, all the responsible people are working. <laughs> the vibes were great. You don't even look excited. <laughs> Guess what? I'm about to get completely car sick. Woo! The first day we spent driving about 12, 13 hours from Pennsylvania to Savannah, Georgia. I'm sitting here looking at the view around me. If there's one thing I want to get out of this road trip, I want to get the idea that God is not something separate from the world. And we did minimal stops. But Quick stop for Minha and stuff. We stopped at each gas station. We tried to see if any of the Jews over there were Jewish. None of them were. Well, another store with no Jews. Everywhere we go is divine providence. So even though no one was Jewish, we felt like we fulfilled what we were supposed to do. We ended up sleeping in Savannah, Georgia in like 34 degrees and it was extremely cold. Looks like we're camping out in the snow tonight. But it's also like one something in the morning. What? Talk about how you built this tent. Oh my gosh. Oh, took me like seven hours. Freak yeah. Freak yeah. So we woke up the next morning. Good morning. And we went to go find a mikvah. It's like 30 degrees out, and there's a pool in the place. There's a pool, and it's cold, and we went in the pool to do our ritual bathing. After you go in a body of water, you're supposed to wash your hands. Meishi is a chassid, and he won't drive unless he does it. So. Dum, da -dum, dum, dum. Spill, don't spill, don't spill, don't spill. Oh, that's beautiful. We started driving further into Florida and we met a Jew on the way at the rest stop. We made it to Florida! But I'm extremely tired and not functioning. Oh, my teeth are gonna look so shiny in the sunshine shade. This is the first time I cleaned my teeth in at least four weeks. And we dove in Shacharis, we ate breakfast, and we had a great time, and we continued on our way. Yo, lady, help me out. Hey! Oh, that was good. We're in what appears to be Jacksonville, and we just finished davening. I personally am like dying for coffee. Mad enjoying my coffee right now. I wanted to actually talk and say what daily Tanya was talking about because now we're on the road trip and we, we get to actually understand that God is one within everything. We need to understand that God's will is put into the Torah and into the mitzvahs. That when we put on to fill in or when we light Shabbos candles, or the idea that we're fulfilling God's will enables us to connect to Him in an infinite way. Yet when we're in the world to come, then it's not going to be something where we're able to connect to Him on an infinite level. It's only going to be as much as He wants our neshama to be connected to Him. We just made it to like San Augustine or something. I don't know what it's called. But bro, we got the tour with us. I just spent a couple of minutes talking with someone, filling him in on like what it means to draw down godliness and just be kind overall. We're going to meet other people along the way, like we'll ask if they're Jewish. Hey, true. If, if they're Jewish, we'll put on tefillin with them. Tefillin is like a, a mitzvah or a commandment. And if not, then you know what? Doing an extra act of kindness is drawing down the same amount of godliness as tefillin. No, no, bro, I like and it. With, with the, we finally got to our campsite at about 9 o'clock at night and it was really dark. We had a bonfire with everybody and we had tents and it was overall just a big for bring. <laughs> We just made it to our campsite for the night somewhere in the middle of Florida. Again, I have no idea where we are, nor do I really care to ask. We got our a whole campground to ourselves, an entire acre. Do you know how much that is? Uh, don't, 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 uh, uh. The next morning we woke up in our tents. Florida, Fort Lauderdale, about to go uh, jet skiing, passing along, so of course, because, you know, 
Yid makes Gashmis Ruchnis, not Ruchnis Gashmis. And so here's our Nego Vasa and. Amen, Lakai and the Braka. Let's go, Levi, quick up. Hello, boys. Right now we're trying to find the Mikve, and, uh, well, apparently there's crocodiles all over Florida. Okay, guys, we're here. We're about to go to Mikve because we didn't do that yet. Right now we're in the middle of Florida enjoying life. It's so easy to just thank God because our physical situation is fully taken care of. And we went to go jet skiing. <laughs> you want to see something extreme? Just watch this. Yeah! Then we had a barbecue there. Gotta wait for the chicken. So you gently placed it on there, right? You're not trying to die because you want to be. We ended up sleeping in the same campsite that night. Depending on which of your two souls is powering them. We were running really late, actually, and we needed to find a mikvah before we could dive in. We ended up having to go to mikvah in the ocean, thank God. Now we're trying to head to the nearest spot house to Davin Chakras. And we got on the deep sea fishing boat. Hopefully I catch a gushmaka fish and we'll eat it tonight. Day like two hours. It's it's getting rough out here, man. People are dropping by the second. Our, our main man, Noah, over here is not feeling the greatest. I think you're tired. Imagine how that yeah. fish feels. Oh, I probably killed him already. Dude, I think it's a bluefin. Oh, oh my god, dude. I'm a Marty. What is that? It's a king mackerel. Oh, Woo! I shit, caught, caught a mackerel. Check. We're about to elevate that Check fish, dude. And it's really cool to see everybody chilling and relaxing on both a casual sense, but the words that we're speaking to each other really causes us to have a bigger friendship and bond because you can't physically talk about sports for so long when you're in the car together. People are really talking about what they feel and what their emotions are. I can guarantee that friendships are gonna be formed and friendships are being formed that wouldn't ever be formed any way else. Thank you for watching. Please continue to do an extra act of kindness as that's what we need to tip the scale and finally bring Mashiach. Mashiach now and have a good week everybody. Talk to you soon. Do something positive that's going to help yourself and help others. It's always important to help others as well as yourself.